Hey guys, Pastor Jerry here. Hey, I'm so glad you found this video. We're gonna be posting these on a weekly basis on Wednesdays, and we are going to be sharing this with you. And what we're gonna be doing on Wednesdays is we are going to be giving you uh, a science object lesson uh, to teach you about who God is, how God loves and cares about you, and all kinds of fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. And we're gonna be posting these videos as long as we have uh, to be on this quarantine and we're not able to gather at church on Sundays, we're going to be doing this. Also, on Sundays, we'll be posting a Bible lesson for all the kids on Sunday mornings. Um, probably for our preschool through our elementary age group, um, we'll be having a video that you can watch together as a family and share some of those things with each other, and hopefully it'll be a great time for everyone. And so bear with me as we go through this, uh, and as we work on the content, as we build up these videos, um, I know that I'm not perfect in these things, and I make mistakes along the way, but hopefully everything will be good, and you'll be able to get some, some good spiritual insight to help with your kids during this time. And so that's what we'd like to do uh, each and every week. So check back every Wednesdays, and we'll have one of these videos up and running for you. And so we want to do that today. So the first thing I want to talk about is how God loves us and how God wants us to be on his team. And so we go to the Bible, and we look in the Old Testament, and we look at uh, the story of Abraham and Sarah. Abraham and Sarah were called by God to go to a brand new place and do all these things that they weren't comfortable doing, and they said yes. And so they left their home, and they traveled all over the place, and they went where God told them to go. And so they go to this land, and they're there in the land, and what happens is that Sarah has no children. And so Abraham goes to God and he says, God, I want you to give me a child. I want you to give me a son that we can uh, have a, someone to give our inheritance to and to pass our family along. And God makes a promise to Abraham and a promise to Sarah that he's going to give them a descendant and that they are going to have a nation grow out of that descendant. And so that's the promise that God gives them. And so one day... Abraham goes to God and he says, God, I'm 100 years old and Sarah's 90. We have no children. How are we going to do that? And God says to him in Genesis chapter 17, uh, this is what Abraham says to God. He says he fell on his face and he laughed because God had told him that he was going to give him a son. And he said in his heart, Shall a child be born to a man who is 100 years old? And shall Sarah, who is 90 years old, bear a child? And in verse 19, then God said, No, Sarah, your wife, shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his descendants after him. And so God promised him that he was going to give him a nation. But Abraham and Sarah, they didn't think they could be on God's team. But God said, no, you can be. And then let's look at another person in the Old Testament, and that is a person by the name of Moses. And Moses had a really different story. He was born in captivity. He was born to slave parents, and, uh, and they were wanting to protect him. And so they did a different bunch of different things, and one day they were hiding him in the river in a bunch of places where there were some bushes and things hanging out, and one of Pharaoh's daughters, the king of Egypt, came down to the river with her other sisters and her handmaids, and they came and they were playing in the river and they found Moses and she adopted him and he became the grandson of Pharaoh. And he grew up in the palace and he grew up as a, as a child of this Pharaoh's daughter and a grandson of Pharaoh, and he knew a really good life. And through a bunch of different things that happened, he ended up leaving that and abandoning all of that, and he went out into the desert and became a shepherd. And he became quiet and reserved and just away from all that other things. And God comes to him one day and says, Moses, I want you to be on my team. I want you to do something for me. I want you to lead my people out of captivity and out of Egypt because I've heard their cry to, to, to become their own nation again and become free from the slavery, slavery that they were in. And Moses says this to God, and if you look in uh, Exodus chapter 3, and if you look at verse 11, Moses says this, 
But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? And so he said, I will certainly be with you. And this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you. When you have brought up the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. And so God gives him a promise and says, Moses, I want you to be on my team. I want you to go do things for me. I want you to take the people of Israel out of Egypt. And I want you to establish your own country and your own land. And Moses is like, I don't know I can do it. But you know what? God wanted him to be on his team. It's kind of like us today. You know, I'm sure all of you like to play sports or most of you like to play sports or at least you are familiar with sports or with games, right? We have at recess when you're in school, uh, you might play kickball or basketball or baseball or soccer. Um, you might have another sport that you like to play or another type of game that you like to play where you have to be on teams. Maybe you play team tag, who knows, all these different games, but you have to be on the team. And what a lot of times happens when it's fun time and it's recess and you're just going out and you're playing pickup games with your friends, you, have, you pick two people to become captains, they go out and they start picking their team. And who do they pick, right? Their first pick is usually the kid that really knows how to play the game well, uh, or they're athletic, or they're strong, they're fast, they're tall, they're bigger kids. Those kids usually get per, you know, picked first. They're the, they are the superstar kids, right? They are the kids that, well, they look kind of like this, right? This tin foil covered piece of cardboard. These are the superstar, the superstar people, right? The kids that can really play the sport and do a good job, right? And then after all those kids are picked, sometimes what happens is the teams are full and you might have been one of those kids that didn't get picked or you might see some of the kids that don't get picked and you're like, man, they didn't get picked to play on the team and they wanted to play, but they didn't get chosen. And this piece of cardboard kind of represents those kids, the kids that get picked either last or not at all, right? They don't get to be on the team. And so you have these two very different things. You have the superstars, the, the athletic kids, the smart, fast kids. They say smart, not necessarily smart, but the fast kids, uh, the kids that are really good at it. And then you've got this over here, that the kids that may not be as good, may not even really know how to play the game at all, but just want to participate, want to be part of something. Well, that happens sometimes. Uh, in, in recess and at school and things like that. But here's good news. You know God has a team too, right? God wants us all to be on his team. Just like he wanted Abraham and Sarah and Moses to do something special for him, he wants that for each of us. He wants it for me and he wants it for you. God wants to pick everyone to be on his team. And so let me demonstrate that for you. I have this bottle of water here. You have the superstar, superstar kids, the kids that are popular, the kids that, you know, everyone you know are going to pick these kids, right? So we're going to put this up here. We're going to balance it. And then we have this balloon. And I wrote the word God on there to represent, this balloon is going to represent God. And do you think God is going to pick the popular kids? God is going to pick the kids that are athletes, the kids that are good at what they do. They, are, they know the sport really well. Well, will he attract them to them? Let's see. Look at this. It's attracting them. Yep, yep. God is picking these people to be on his team. Right? Look at that. It's moving around. So much so that it actually falls off the bottle. It's not super perfectly balanced. What about these guys? Would God pick just the ordinary average person, the one that may not be the quote-unquote superstar? the one that may not always get picked to be on the team. Well, let's see if he'll do that. We're gonna balance the cardboard out here. We're gonna see, we're gonna do a little bit more of that, static electricity, and look. Look at that. God is choosing everyone. God wants all of us to be on his team, no matter what. Right? So whether we're the superstar or whether we are just the average person, right? God is going to choose all of us to be on his team. Just like he asked Moses and just like he asked Abraham and Sarah, hey, I want you to be on my team. God wants to be you to be on his team as well. And so I hope that encourages you. You know that you can be at 
at any point in your life, and God wants you to be on his team. He has something special for you. Maybe it's not to start a nation or to lead a nation out of captivity like Moses did, or to start the nation like Abraham and Sarah did through their son Isaac and through his descendants. But God has something super special for each one of us, and God wants you to know that he wants you on his team. And so when it comes to the choosing time, he's going to say to each one of us, I pick you. And it's just up to us whether or not we say, yes, God, I want to be on your team too. And so I hope that encourages you today. I hope that uh, you're having a great day or that you've had a great day or whenever you're watching this, that this is a place of encouragement for you. Again, don't forget to check out our YouTube page, Murraysville Alliance Church, or our Facebook page for kids ministry, which is called Murraysville Alliance Church Kids Jam and it's on Facebook. Have a blessed day. Let me pray with you real quick. God, thanks so much for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you all the things that you have for us, um, that we can go through this time of just un, a little bit of craziness, and we know that you still want us on your team. How awesome is that, that you loved us so much? I pray that you give us a, uh, just a, a sense of calm and peace about that, and that we'd be encouraged. Well, thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we'll see you next Wednesday right here. Talk to you soon. Bye.